In this video, I want to show you how you get to your digital input status on a PowerFlex 525 using TII's Technical Education's VFD Trainer model ACD 525. So to do this, what we're going to do is we're going to go into the menu. And we'll do that by either hitting the select or the enter key. And then we need to go and change what group we're in. And so we're going to change this over to B. Then from B, we will hit enter and select into that parameter. And then you need to go down and you need to select and get to 14, which it was already selected on. But in this case, you would typically, if it had been reset to factory, would need to bring it back to, you would need to activate this button here to bring it up to 14. Then we're going to hit enter and enter there. And now you'll notice that all of these are at zero right now. But we have a couple things wired to this where you can actually select certain digital inputs. So if I activate switch one, you can see a, a one is entered into this bit. Activate switch two, this will activate. And in this case, they wired the jog to input three. Now these are important to know because the reason you may need to come in and check this is that these have the power if you activate them with the settings that you'll learn in later videos to override the parameters that are set in the VFD. So for example, if switch one is activated here, this may change the maximum frequency that the VFD is allowed to speed up to. So if sometime you're troubleshooting a VFD that's not ramping up to the right frequency, that could be a situation where you have a signal coming into one of the stat, one of the bits in your digital input status, and then you can go through and disconnect that. Let's say a wire popped off and is touching a positive and sending a signal to it, or if the switch has accidentally been activated. This was a quick introduction to the digital input status on the PowerFlex 525 using the TII Technical Education Systems Trainer. If you enjoyed the video, as always, please hit the like and subscribe button.